Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sky Odyssey. Now here's the issue, you will see that there are some different items in my inventory that weren't uh, there before. That's because the episode that I was making before actually failed. Like, I did an entire episode without realizing I wasn't actually recording. So I've done a whole lot of stuff without getting it on camera, like getting my equipment, getting into deep learning, potions, etc. Like, none of that was recorded, which is quite sad. But hey, we're here now and I got a nice episode planned for you guys. So to start with, uh, you will see I've moved the, the resource miners from the tiny squares up to these platforms because they are way too big. These are the three tier trees. To make them, you need the Chironite crystals. And from them, you get the. Oh no, wait, you need the Erodium crystals and you get the, uh, the Chironite crystals. I think that's how. It no, I was correct the first time, sorry. You need Chironite for tier 3 and you need Palladium for tier 4. So, next episode, you will see the tier 4 versions of it. Both are identically the same. Uh. Like I said, we are getting, we were getting into a deep map learning. Over here, I have the simulation chamber. That's where you put the data module in, and it will just simulate killing the mobs. I have a deep learner in my pocket with a wither skeleton module because we are gonna farm some wither skeletons. I can see 6 to go to get to the next tier, and you will notice how fast I can get kills. Like, I can literally get them so fast. We have been to the nether in the, in the what was supposed to be the previous episode, which failed horribly. <laughs> Kill. I have written down the, the coordinates, I can see. 339 74 minus 132 is where the nether fortress was. And to get there, I can actually fly because I bought an angel ring in the last episode uh, to make this work. Also, for the people that are sensitive to this light, I'm sorry, but it's really neat. It will go better whenever we get to the, to the fortress. Don't worry. We need to go this way. 332, that's not that far away. <laughs> I'm gonna go move in this direction over a little bit. There we go. Just like this. That's a nice angle, that way we do both corners at the same time. <laughs> and there it is. So I'm just gonna go on a murder spree, like you can see, I will see in chat that the level should change. There we go, basic tier already. The more Wither Skeletons you kill while that module is in the Deep Learner, the higher tier it's gonna become and the easier it is gonna be to create the pristine crystals, which we are gonna need to create uh, the loot from it. There we go, we have the advanced tier. Look at the amount of arrows down here. I'm gonna check if there's something on the ground. They do drop a lot of stuff. Now, if not for the materials, it's good to have the. What's it called? Oh, we actually got a skull. It's good to have the experience plus like the extra materials from it. Might be not might not be that that much, but just die, please. I accidentally hit a pigman. I also have repellent on my armor, so whenever I get hit, the enemy just teleports away. Which I would love to get rid of for uh, boss fights, 
which we are actually going to do this episode. Since the last one failed, I want to make this one pretty fun to watch. But to do, to do so, we need to get some stuff done. Just look at the sheer damage. I'm just mowing them down. Literally just machine getting them down. Not even properly aiming at the moment, I'm just shooting. There's some nice materials here, that's for sure. Now, all you need basically is a basic tier, because if you put it in the process, processing machine, it will uh, continue leveling it up all the way to self-aware, but the chance of getting pristine crystals is not that much. It's better to get at least uh, the second to last tier or the advanced tier. That's what I recommend. And I should be there fairly soon. I have smite, but it's not that necessary. That's a chicken. There we go, just mowing them down again. There we go, superior. What do I need for the maximum tier? 50. Should I go there? If you can actually get that fast, like look at this. It's not that much damage, but... It's actually so amazing to watch it, you can just rapid fire them. I don't necessarily need blaze, but it's a good experience. There we go. Get away from the mosquito. I hate mosquitoes. Okay, let's see, are there any more witch skeletons? There's one in here. Just mow them down. And to think about it, I'm not even using any, uh, what's it called? I'm not even using any golden apples. I'm just using my armor and some, some chicken. That's about it. My armor is way too good for this. I have fire protection on here as well, which is huge in uh, in another because the fire can hurt over time so much. Oh, this, this is nice looking. Let's see how fast I can clean the bridge. I'm literally just conquering that bridge. In my opinion, the blazes are the most annoying enemies in here, in Sky Odyssey. They're usually not that bad in regular Minecraft, but in Sky Odyssey they are terrible. There's just so many of them. And not much you can do about them anyway. Like, I mean, yes, you can take out the spawners, but even then, they there will still be tons of them. Anything on the ground for me? That much. I've gotten two skulls already, so that's neat. Any more skeletons? How many do I need? 27. Already only need 27 more. 
You see, this goes really fast. I am really whiffing my shots at the moment. Just keep mowing them down. From the moment I got everything I need, I will return back home, because we have a lot of other stuff to do. I'm going to try to look down and drink my other potion. There we go. Just get rid of the blazes, please. There we go. Two more skeletons gone. I think we're almost there. Yeah, I need eight more. Let's see if I can, can find, find them real quick. I'm gonna prioritize the skeletons. Seven, six, five, four, three, one. Oh, never mind. We're at silverware. That's the highest tier you can go. I can see. So now I need to get back to 3, 103 and 0. Uh, like this. There it is. That went so fast. <clears throat> Alright. Let's put some stuff away. I've got quite a lot of stuff, that's for sure. But also a lot that I can't actually MC. That's why I placed this crate here. It's a little bit easier to maintain. <clears throat> Let's open this up, shall we? A fridge <laughs> and a golden fishing rod. Oops, I accidentally put away my arrow. Arrow, there we go. That's what I need. What are you? Smite? Yeah, smite 4. I actually need smite 5, that's for sure. So, like you'll see, we have the deep learner. We are gonna put that in here and whenever we get the uh, polymer uh, polymer medium there's some sort of uh, clay we can get pristine uh, pristine crystals or pristine essence and we can get uh, the hellish hellish essence which we need to get the, the I believe the tier the gas tier but we also need the loot fabricator it's this one I believe yep We need, we need to go down again. Living wood, living wood. I think that's one of the things I need. Because what I yeah, suit cord machine uh, casing. <coughs> there we go, and uh, box. What am I missing? Just some yellow dye, that's it. There we go. The fabricator. I'll put that over here. 
<clears throat> that will create what we need. So I want to probably automate this. Let's pick that real. Let's let's pick it up real quick. <clears throat> Move it one forward. Simulation chamber, blue fabricator. Transfer. Yeah, we do have transfer nuts. There we go. <clears throat> we need a point. Okay, they both have energy. Then we need the clay. We know we need filter first. I'm gonna break this real quick. <coughs> and now we can look for the clay. That's what we need, the polymer clay. Then we need the, uh, what's it called, EMC link, which we're gonna place on top. Let me get another transfer nut. Just like that. Now it should start creating what we need. Yep, it's it's loading. See, that's what you want. Pristine plus procurement failed. We should have gotten yep, hellish matter. I'm gonna put that in here and we're gonna blacklist that. There we go. We want some crates. Can I just pull it out like this? I don't think it does that. No, it doesn't. Let's get an anvil. And a transfer node. Create some flat transfer nodes, that way we can squeeze it in there. It's not what you want. Pulling out, there we go. Let's hope it actually pulls out the pristine matter to the other side. I hope we get the pristine matter faster. <coughs> yep, there we go, succeeded. Did it go in here? Oh wow, we have five. We want to make wither skeleton skills. I think it needs, yeah, it needs to enter from the top. There we go, now it's creating the Wither Skeleton Skulls, there we go. We have infinite Wither Skeleton Skulls. 
do I have a do I have a wrench? I do. No, I don't think it works on that. Oh, it does. Okay. There we go. We have automated uh, getting skulls and automated getting hellish matter. <coughs> Now, cast here. How do you make that? Oh, we need two of them. And there we go, we have a cast here. So, next up, we are gonna do a boss fight. Spinning Spriton. Let's just use them all. I'm gonna see if I can get some. Get smite by any chance? What does it cost to get smite? Only rotten flesh, okay, that's easy. With Lapis, there we go. Book and Quill. Smite tree. Still smite tree. Smite four. Can I put it on my sword? Yes, I can. Smite 5. Do we have some form of disenchant? Enchantment extractor. Can I make you? I have everything except the golden gear. Now I've never used this before. When provided with power, a book and an enchanted item, it will remove one enchantment from the item and apply it to the book. Enchanted item won't be damaged in the process. Can I choose which item? What am I missing this time? Oh, we're miss missing plastic. Really? Missing plastic? Is that it? Is there any other way that I can get this? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Let's get that done real quick. It shouldn't take too long. So I need the latex processing unit. Just like that, latex. And then we need to Three, yep, there we go, three fluid extractor. We need points, fluid, let's just use a fluid transfer node. And some pipes. I'm gonna just set it up real quick and then remove it again. So one, two, three, four. You place them in this position and a piece of wood in the middle. 
the latex processing unit. Then you just power them all. It's fairly simple, just power them up. Oh, they don't need power. That's easy. Fluid. There we go. We want them all connected with the pipes. Just like this. Going into you. And then you just pick out a piece of wood. Doesn't matter which piece of wood you take and place it in the middle, and they will start to siphon the fluid. The fluid here. You will see them building up over here. Now what you need is water, so that's where our trusty Evertide comes in handy. Just fill this bad boy up, and we're getting lit. We're getting to try it rubber. You need nine pieces. Eight, nine. That changes into dry rubber, which you smelt. And there we go, we have plastic. Just let them finish that. You don't need this anymore. There we go, just let them finish what they're doing. Otherwise it, it's gonna become a ghost block. <coughs> Good. Enchant. So we want the enchant extractor. And just like that we made the enchant extractor. It does need power and it needs books. So we'll get a point and we'll get some books. So I want to get rid of repellent. Repellent, and that's it. Just the first one, there we go. Easy. It's actually easier than I thought. So now we shouldn't have any repellent anymore. Nope, no more repellent. Very nice. I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna leave that there in case I have other bad enchantments I wanna get rid of. Uh, we are gonna get obsidian. And we're gonna get Basalt and the last thing we are going to get is the chisel. All because we are going to prepare for our first boss. And I think we're going to go this way. It's just we're going to need a little bit of a platform, like a house of some sort to be in. And you'll see soon enough why. I'm just going to create a road. Just 
nice and far and we're gonna create a platform tree tree that's 12 in total that's a 12 by 12 would it be big enough I think it would I'm gonna just add a few more blocks two three one two three so that's an 18 by 18 I forgot to count two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen well yeah that's sort of eighteen let's get a little bit more obsidian there we go I'm gonna need to make some sort of house it's just gonna be like a form of uh, brick brick house the reason is fairly simple it doesn't need to be anything nice because it's not gonna stay it's not gonna stay like this it's gonna become something else altogether but we need it for the first part Perfect. I'm gonna go one more up. And place a roof on top of it. Just a little bit further, there we go. Wow, it's dark in here. Torch. You're just gonna place a buttload of torches in here. It doesn't matter if they get broken. Like I said, it's just a temporary thing. But we wanna make sure nothing spawns in here. Except the things that we want to spawn. This will get cleaned up eventually. There we go. Remove, remove, remove. Alright, so that's a start. <coughs> uh, what else do we need? I'm gonna get capels this time. I feel like we're gonna need them. Just carefully take a stack. Gonna refill my chicken. We need soul sand. And last but not least, we need three of them. Now, here's the thing Can we make the press? It's not in here, isn't it? Over there. I don't see it in here anywhere, sadly enough. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I think I'm gonna have to look on the mod itself. There it is. We need the anvil for that. Do we have sticking? It's not in there. 
That's just another box. Let's see if he has some stadium or. I don't think we do. No, it doesn't look like we have any stadium. Oh, that's sad. Wait, but we can actually buy it. It's super cheap, let's actually do that. Where are you, where are you? Sta there we go, stadium, iron ore. Wait, my money is gone, let's actually Accept the quests real quick to get our money back. That's sometimes a glitch in it. All you have to do is accept the quest again and you will get your money back like you can see. Stadium. Smelt it. Can I make it now? We need a block. And last but not least, we need the anvil. We need the yammer. Okay, so let's get the anvil. Temporary, I'm gonna put it here. And I want to make the shard die, so we need a sticky and iron plates. Simple. Then we need quartz. And we need an iron uh, 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 vendor. Quartz. I have in there. Perfect. We also need a plate. It's been a bit of a while since I did this. Throw this on it. Sitting on a magma block. Oh, apparently, I don't have that, so we need slime and blaze. Four of them to create a magma block. There we go. I don't like it when they're actually in my way. I'm gonna clean it up later though. Don't worry, it will have its own uh, location. It's just like I'm actually running behind on my uh, thing that I want to do. There we go. We have them. That's exactly what we were looking for. <clears throat> so now, without further delay, we are going to the obsidian house that we created. Go in. And we are going to create our own wither. Two, three. Let's move back a little bit. Hold this, and when it's found, when it activates, you need to hit it with with the shard. One shot, two shots. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the widget is dead. When you're working with that thing, it's kind of messy, but it works. We actually got a loot crate out of it. Sticky piston. Wow. Now you will see it is fully programmed with the wither, which is going to be something for later because that's also a big mod. Like it, it does take some time. Uh, I'm going to look at the torches real quick. There we go. An obsidian. An obsidian. There we go. Let's fill the. Oops. I'm gonna leave it there. We don't actually need that anymore, so it's no use that we actually patch it up fully. We also have the net star now, which is kind of big. But next up, we are going on a spree right now. I want the evil tear. <laughs> we should be able to make that because we need a head as well. <coughs> Place it on here. And that's why I had this thing located. Right click. It's not high enough. I always get the height wrong. If it's high enough, you should be able to just It is that high, right? Because we want to get to the end. Oh, it's obsidian around. How could I get that wrong? This is actually a custom portal, so... I don't want to vein mine it because then I actually remove the endstone in the middle as well, which we don't want to do. There we go, and the right click. Now it's probably too high up. Place it to one lower. With the end rods dangling underneath that. Right click. There we go, the portal is activated. It's actually a nice animation. There we go, we have our portal. <coughs> now you will see the sheer power of my gear. <laughs> because in the end, you see those end crystals? Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother killing the crystals. I'm literally not even gonna bother. And that was the ender dragon. <laughs> That's the second boss in one video. And in a short amount of time as well. What is this end though? Never seen an end like this. We do want the egg though. Thank you for the torch. Place the torch. And now we have the egg. <coughs> Oh, 
What's in here? Restonia pants. And there we go. We have finished Minecraft. Joke. That ender dragon was such a joke actually. Because if you get this gear, you can just beat it without even killing the crystals. Like the crystals don't even have the strength to heal it back up in time. Next up, uh, we have Terrastil, right? What is the gear on this? 9 armor. Terrastil is not a thing, isn't it? It is armor, though. Oh, there's nothing I can do with that yet. I can't craft it just yet. But we can make elementium. And there goes my Discord. craft ourselves three armor bars wow the emeritic is way stronger but nonetheless we do need it for elementium what do you need to trade Two blocks of mana steel. Thank you. That should be full armor. Yep, there's a full armor set. Next up, we're gonna do Gaia. And we need a Gaia pylons for that. Pixie test, mana pylon. I think we can make that. Yep, there we go, mana pylon. That's not EMC able, so I'm probably gonna need four of them. We have pixie dust, we have elementium. I need more pixie dust though. And the pearl, mana pearl actually. Mana pearl. Do you know that is enough? That's seven. I think we only need one per. But I'd rather have some spare. Oh, it's actually multiple. One. Two. Where's my laser cabotania? I actually want to see what exactly I need for this. I don't see it anywhere in here though. It's not in here either. Hmm. I don't exactly see it anywhere in here. Wait, can I? Can't I just look it up? There is no search button so far I can see. There's no K. 
Kaya things in here. It should show it here somewhere. Maybe from here. There we go. Ritual of Gaia. We need a beacon, some iron, four of those Gaia pylons, okay. So we also need a beacon. Can I make another one of you? <coughs> I sure can. And I'm one pixie that's too short. So that's like this and like this. We have four pylons. Let's go. Stop pushing me. I don't like it. So much junk in my inventory. We also need a beacon. Iron blocks. Just a piece of iron as well. And now we're gonna see if it actually works. Yeah, the fence is actually interrupting with it. That's so sad. You apparently won't be able to use a fence. It's a pity, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna increase it anymore today. Otherwise, this video is gonna become way too long. Here we go. I can't fly anymore, so. And Kaya has been created. Oh wow, he's already dead. He barely lived. What? And Kaya did already? Oh, we already have the Kaya spirits. It's so fast though. <laughs> he died within a few seconds. That's crazy. That's so crazy. So all of this for the three second fight. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. That's so nuts. I know we have Ga Gaia too, but... Should I attempt it? Like, I feel like you guys barely got any fight. Problem is, I don't know if I can handle this one. I don't know if I can survive this one. It is supposed to be a harder version, so... I can't make the golden apple. Like, I can't make the strongest one. I can only find it. So, that's, that's the issue. I can't make any other apples, because... It's like, no fake, this one doesn't do anything. Literally, it doesn't do anything. And these I can't make either because I don't have the premium. I'm I'm just gonna use all of it.
Okay, come down. I got him. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so strong. <laughs> I'm so crazy strong. So pleased to alive. I just destroy Gaia. <laughs> okay, guys, I I knew I was powerful in the offense, but I didn't think my defensive capabilities were high enough to survive Gaia too. I have fallen in the past, and it was always super super annoying to kill. Oh, that's actually a nice end to the f to the to the episode. We even got a legendary crate and a dice of fate. Oh wow, that was stressful. Craft with the Terracell helmet to add the following effect: critical hit damage increased with lower HP. It's so good because I was at one heart at one point. I got so much stuff. It is so worth fighting Gaia, but it's so difficult if you don't have the proper gear. Like, I shouldn't have been able to survive that. There we go. To end the video, I'm gonna open the crate and the dice. Let's up the suspense first by opening the other two, the other crates. Fan and quicksilver. Just plate. Let's go. Legendary crate and dice of fate. Wyvern core. But isn't that emceable? It is. And dice of fate. The dice lands on a one, and you notice that it transforms into something else. The fruit of Grisaya. Can I look up though? Why can't I find it anywhere in here? Miscalitis, maybe it is over here. Hmm. Miscellaneous? Can't find anything about it. Can I find something about dice? By the looks of it, I can't find anything about dice. Yeah, it's not saying anything. I can't seem to find anything about that. I don't know what's up with that. So I'm gonna need to like... Uh, look it up, otherwise... Because I can't find it anywhere in the book. Anyway, that was episode 5 or 6 I believe. That's not what I wanted to open. 
We've done a lot of things. This is probably going to be one of the longer episodes. We've done a lot of quests as well. Which we're going to accept. I made the helmet so I don't know why it's not adding up. Yeah, there we go. Not sure why it's not Elementium Helmet of Revealing. Oh, you need the goggles of revealing. That's why it's not picking up. Gotcha. Gaia pylon. And kill the Guardian of Gaia too. Then we need to make the Gaia Mana Spread and the Fabulous Mana Pool. And then we're set. So that's probably what we're gonna do next time on... Uh, that's probably what we're gonna do next time on uh, Sky Odyssey. Just complete the rest of... Uh, Botania. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.